30 minutes live right here on your screens. We're coming up, we're, we're talking gospel. Yes, we're doing gospel. No doubt about that. Today we have to just send everybody close to the Holy Spirit. We're hanging out with a Kumasi based artist. She's going to be on Kumasi. You've seen her back in lots of artists, the likes of Sonny Badu, Joe Metal, and all that. Yes, uh, recently she was uh, part of the nominees for the VGMA Female Artist of the Year. Am I getting it right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I got it right. And yes, Efe Grace is here to tell us more about herself. How are you? I'm good. Are you guys great yourself? I am very, very well. Right. I mean, you heard in my intro, <laughs> this year you're part of the VGM in Omnis. Glory to I God. Mean, people want to way. know more. The journey, how you got here. But before that, personally, who is Efe Grace? Right, so my name is Sefe Grace. I'm born to the legendary Reverend Mensa Bonsu. I come from a family of five. I'm the eldest. Uh, my parents, my sisters and myself, um, I completed Christian Service University with BBA Banking and Finance. Banking and Finance and you're yeah. doing gospel. We'll talk about <laughs> that, but I heard that, you know, your dad happens to be legendary Reverend mm -hmm. Mensa yeah. Bonsu. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Then you got an early training, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Tell us the memories. Um, so, um, I discovered this talent at a very young age. I realized that I had a passion for music. My daddy too saw that in me and when he did, he started to give me the necessary training and support. He took me along as back in vocalist anytime he had ministrations wow. and that really gave me more knowledge about music ministry. So this is where it all started and this is where I am by the grace of God. I mean a lot of artists will be quick to you know move mm -hmm. into yeah. be a solo artist. Yeah. I mean looking at the early experiences but you waited till now. Why now? Um, why now? Because I believe that this is the right time God wanted to bring me out, launch me out to the world. Yeah. So you think yeah. the time is right yes. now? I mean, your, your dad happens to be a popular man in the gospel, yeah. you know, fraternity and then Mensa Bones. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking it's going to be Grace Mensa Bones. <laughs> but why Efe Grace? Where, where the name? Um, Efe Grace, Efe, Efe is a fear, I'm a fear. And then for the Grace, this is how I got it. Um, I went to a church, I went to minister. And then there was a man of God preaching. And everything he was talking about was what? I have been through so i just heard in my voice why don't you add grace to effie okay that's how it all started so that was it yeah i mean when i was about to when i told my people mm -hmm. that i was gonna post you i mean a lot of kumasi people got to be like yeah charlie she's back here oh, wow. and all that wow. i mean Glory you told me how is the fan base doing in kumasi it looks like you're, you're doing quite huge over there by the grace of god they have been amazing they have been very very supportive yeah i see yeah. i see i mean very supportive Let's let's talk about you know lots of gospel artists coming from Kumasi. <laughs> what is the magic behind it? It looks like we're getting lots of good artists from. What's happening? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I believe that it's all God's way. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. All right. So in case you just you know we're hanging out with Effie Grace, we'll definitely talk about the new one. Mm -hmm. You talked about banking and finance mm -hmm. back in school. <laughs> Uh, how is that? Where is the link between banking and finance and gospel? Are you practicing it? No, no. Wow, well, what a certificate in actually? Me, me that too, baby, cry. And you're doing gospel. <laughs> Why? Because I believe that um, I was created to do this. God gave me this voice to show forth His glory, to be a blessing, and so I have no choice. This is my calling. I have no choice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of respect to me that you went to Yas and Girls yeah. Senior High School. Yeah. I've been I've been to that school once, eh? mm -hmm. and trust me, I can see ninety eight percent of girls in Yas and Twelve. Yeah, they all girls though. In Yas and Twelve Senior High School, uh -huh. are very pretty. <laughs> wow. Yes, I have been there. I work on my high school project and I saw, I mean, what's the miracle of a Yas and Twelve Girls Senior High School? They are watching. I mean, <laughs> tell them something. I want Adishe, your friend Adishe. Mm -hmm. Adishe, we are, we are bold, we are beautiful, we are graced, we are blessed. Okay. Yes. So that's it. Yeah. All right. So all the yas and talk girls, this is your <laughs> very own FA Grace, the new gospel artist. Right. Now. So make sure you support her, her works. Let's talk about mm -hmm. before doing gospel. There came jazz. Hey. What happened? <laughs> 
we have jazz, we have, where, where from the switch? You switch from jazz to gospel. I'm right, I guess. Okay, so let me tell you the story. Um, I believe that before God calls you, um, you, he makes you go through stuff. You go through stuff just for his glory to be shown. I've had my own share of, 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 of problems, of tribulations. And I remember some years back um, after school, um, after service, um, I had a problem problem in choosing the genre of music I wanted to do. Um, back then I thought that gospel I mean, music... Exactly, because following your dad, yeah. you have a problem. Why yeah. should you just switch your mind to do, go and do jazz? I thought back then, I thought that there was no money in gospel music. Oh, okay. I thought that gospel music wasn't really patronizing Ghana. And then taking into consideration the kind of music I wanted to do, the style of music I wanted to do. But then finally I decided to do the two together, secular and gospel. <laughs> <laughs> but how does that work? You're going to be secular and gospel at the same I don't time. know how it was going to work, but I mean, I had no job back then. And, okay. and this is what I was doing for a living, so I had no choice. I had to do it. Okay, yeah. so you had no choice, but you had to do I it. I had to do it, you yeah. Chance, yeah. The early, you know, training and all. And at that time, I was doing a backing vocalist for Dr. Sonny Badu and other ministry. That was what I was doing in gospel. Okay. Yes. But deeply, what is yeah. the motivation of doing gospel? What is the reason? The reason is Jesus. I mean, um, I've loved him ever since I was young. Um, the upbringing that my daddy, I mean, brought me up with. Okay. I, I know God. I know him. I know how good he has been to my family and so yeah I love him I love the things of God I love the work of God I mean there are lots yes. of people watching now yeah. who wants to do gospel mm -hmm. you know coming up you had an early skill and yeah. training but what are some of the challenges you should tell those people watching that they're going to face as they try and get to where they want to get to and um, for me when I entered into a full-time gospel I must say that it has been by the grace of God I haven't really been through much stress God has been good he has made provisions for everything, for every platform that I get. So I haven't really, you know, been stressed that much. Right. Yeah. All right. Talking about challenges, I speak to a lot of uh, upcoming gospel artists who talked about the pastors who want to support them financially, but then it happens that they need something in return. I guess you know what exactly I'm talking about. Do you face such situations? People who want to support, people who want to help. And um, that was when I was in doing circular. There was when this man, said, yeah. Okay. There was this man that wanted to manage me. He saw me doing jazz um, at a hotel, and then after he came up to me and he said that he wanted to help me, wanted to manage me. But then I have to give myself to him before. Yeah. He said, if I want to be like Becca, he can make me, you know. But then I have to give him something in return. And yeah, yeah. And what was the outcome? What was your conclusion? Of course, I, I, I never wanted that never yet, wanted. sure. Alright, I mean, right. so yeah. you didn't want to give him? Mm, never. Alright, so coming to the gospel side, have you faced it? No. No. Let's talk about gospel then and then now. I think you should have that experience between working with your dad and then the kind of gospel you hear now. Mm -hmm. I mean, some still fall in love with the old gospel and people are complaining <laughs> a lot about the new gospel now. What is the difference? What do you think uh, is making some people not love the current gospel? Um, I think maybe because it's their choice. Mm. I'm sure some people love, I mean, the current gospel music, some love the old tunes. Maybe it's their choice. But I think that, I mean, um, things are working out okay. and, and the system is changing. Definitely things will change. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be like it was before. before. Yeah, so. I yeah. mean, when you're listening to the likes of um, Daughters of Glorious yeah. Success, Take yeah. your sisters yeah. and your dad and all yeah. that. We feel more, you know, we feel more love to that kind of gospel than mm. now. Mm. I mean, is it because is it because they had it more than now? I mean, they were talented, or what? What was the reason? Um, I'm not sure. Just as I said, mm -hmm. it's a choice. It's I mean, a choice. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about people you have worked with. Uh, you heard in my intro. <laughs> I mean, it's not only your dad, Reverend uh, Mensa Bonsu. You've worked with other gospel artists. Yeah. I mean, tell us more. Um, I've worked with Dr. Sonny Badu, um, Mami Wahima Mercy, um, Brian K, Jonathan Nelson, even Joe Metal, mm -hmm. Joe Beecham, and all that. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned Joe Metal. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's your take? I know you're very, I mean, patience is based in Kumasi to as well. I'm sure you're close or tight with it. Who? 
patience not really. no really no <laughs> but i mean the controversy is everything that happened between patience Nyako and joe Mette. i mean what's your take on that what patience said <clears throat> i wouldn't want to talk about this i mean just seriously but well your take i mean what do you feel should have been done you know should have been said or what you felt like should have gone right Okay, the truth of the matter is that I haven't really watched the video. I just heard of it. So okay. I don't really know what went wow. on here. So I should tell you what went wrong? <laughs> I mean, patients yeah. accused Joe Metal of uh, singing most of this Presbyterian and Methodist hymns in most of his songs. I mean, he doesn't, you know, come up with his own songs, yeah. but then using other Presbyterian and Methodist hymn to come up with songs. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so you have nothing wrong nope. with that. Nope. I mean, you can use nope. any of this. No. Nope. Okay, oh. well, what's said over there? We're about to talk about the songs you produce so far. Definitely, we'll talk about the brand new one we're about to uh, premiere right yeah. now on the show. But tell us about some of the songs you produce so far before this new one. Um, and your one in my bank, I say mm -hmm. that was a rendition of my daddy's song, okay? Yeah, and then King of Glory yeah. that was the second one, it was released last year in November. And then Lord have your way, Lord have yeah. your way. I can see your strength is more of a worship songs, yep. I mean, uh, so we're not going to see more of the, I mean, the other kind of gospel. You will. Very there more. are more coming up. I okay. mean, you'll see. That's the other side of me. Oh, that's yeah. the other side of me. Yeah. Any shows or any stage you've performed on? Um, by the grace of God, I've performed on Dynamic Hamilton's Experience. Okay. Um, Maker's House. And a lot. A lot, a lot. more, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. all right. So we're about to talk about the new one. Lord have your way. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're about to premiere that right here on the show, but let's talk about producing of the song. Mm -hmm. What really inspired you to come out with a song like this? Um, first of all, I got this song a couple of months ago. Um, I believe that God has a word for the world. I mean, looking at what is going through, I mean, we can only ask God to have his way. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, that was it. Yeah. Well, definitely, we'll talk about the video. I saw your performance on stage. It looks mm -hmm. like a church and all that. Mm -hmm. You disclosed that to us too as well. But right about now, we're taking a look at this particular video from Faith Grace. She says, Lord, have your way. And 